Good morning from London. Today is our second full day here in London, and we're gonna start things off by going to the Tower of London. But on our way there, we happened to find this side garden nearby, so we decided to see if we can check it out. Apparently we can walk in, but we're not sure how long the line's gonna be. We're so glad we decided to come up here because the view is seriously insane. I didn't realize just how big the Tower of London was until we got here. From far away, it doesn't look nearly as huge, but once you're up close, it's ginormous. So impressive. We are now walking across Tower Bridge, which a lot of people think is London Bridge, but London Bridge is actually the very boring bridge kind of to the other side, and Tower Bridge is the one that uh, London is famous for. Interesting fact of the day. We decided we want to try to go up the tower bridge and cross the bridge on the skywalk. So we're finally going to actually pay for something. Mm -hmm. 200 more steps. We're all done with the Tower Bridge, and I would say it's probably worth the 11 pounds that it costed. Uh, just for walking across the top area mm. and getting that view. Yeah, the skywalk was really cool. Mm -hmm. And now we're heading to Borough Market. Because we need to eat. I'm very hungry. The market here is insanely busy. So me and Sandy have decided to divide and conquer. I'm gonna grab some fish and chips and she's gonna look for something else. So we just got our food here at Borough Market. I got the fish and chips and Sandy got And then we also got a cider. We're excited for the cider because it is our first cider here in London. First thing I'm gonna try is the fish and chips. It looks really good. I got the cod. It tastes a lot different than our fish and chips back home. I feel like the batter is way lighter. It's not as like thick. And I think they keep the skin on the fish as well, which we never do, so. Tastes completely different. And as I was saying before, Sandy also got the paella, so I'm gonna give that a try. It's like a seafood paella with a bunch of different things in it. Mm. Wow, that was like an explosion of flavors, basically. If you're in Borough Market, definitely check out the paella place. It had a really long line. I'm assuming any place that has a really long line is a place that's worth going. It's very loud down here. But anyways guys, I think we're just gonna finish eating these and then maybe we'll try some more foods here in Borough Market. Next up, we got the sausage roll from the ginger pig. Ooh. Oh, smells really good. Looks really yummy. That sausage is nice and crunchy. Look how gigantic it is. Really good. Very juicy. Very juicy, very meaty, but the crust is really crunchy. Wow. I feel like just the meat filling is bigger than any like sausage roll I've had, let alone the whole thing. The crust is really nice, it's like super flaky, and the meat is like seasoned really well. It's really good. So the place that we're at is called Ginger Pig and they are well known for their sausage rolls and their scotch eggs. But we decided the sausage roll is the way to go. Okay, I'm gonna give 
Let's try. The custard is so creamy. It's really good. I can definitely eat like five of these for sure. No problem. So we are all done with Borough Market and all of the food was really good. But for me personally, the paella was amazing. It was like probably one of the greatest things I've ever eaten. It was really good. But I really like the sausage bro we had. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Kind of blew my mind because I never had similar things like that. So it was really good. And I think for both of us, we were kind of underwhelmed with the fish and chips to be honest. It wasn't that it was bad it's just that it wasn't anything special yeah like i feel like i've had you know similar or better fish and chips before mm. and i thought coming to london the land of the fish and chips that it would be amazing but well maybe we'll try another place mm -hmm. we'll give it another go but for now we're gonna head off uh from the borough market and we are heading to tate modern So we are all done with Tate Modern. It was super cool. The collection is absolutely massive. It's obviously really difficult for me to show you guys in video format, but if you're ever in London, you should definitely check it out. We honestly couldn't even see everything because the collection was so big and we were pretty tired from Borough Market earlier. Now we are absolutely exhausted. So we're gonna head back to our hotel now and just rest for a little while. After a nice rest at the hotel, and a little bit of editing. We're ready to hit the town again. We are at the Coal Drop Yard. We're gonna hit up some breweries and pubs. Should be fun. That area was really cool. We had some great drinks and unfortunately we couldn't film too much because there was a lot of copyright music going on. Uh, but we're off to find our next location. So our next stop is Weatherspoons, which is like a big pub chain here in London that we were told we had to check out. I mean, we haven't tried the food yet. We just got it. But the prices were pretty good. It was like 20 pounds for two pints of beer and wings and nachos. The nachos, they look kind of sad. The wings look good though, so hopefully it's delicious. with this guy and I think we're gonna end the video here and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. You wanna say bye as well? Bye. <laughs>